Hey, it's uh, Christian Jensen with Ghost Mares and uh, Troy Williams, okay. KRCL Radio. KRCL Radio. What do you do with the radio? Uh, I produce a talk show called Radio Active. Uh, weeknights from 6 to 7 p.m. It's sort of a progressive talk radio show here in the state. Very cool. So what are you what are you doing here today? I'm just you know standing and supporting people coming together. It's so exciting. It's pouring down rain. You think we're downtown Seattle? in this nation and you've got you know the people kind of standing together in solidarity with each other it's a cool thing it's uh, worthy of support yeah that's why I came as well we, we actually uh, support uh, the common cause as well I don't think it's a political issue a lot of people think this is a political issue because Michael Moore right it's stuff on it and they're like I hate Michael Moore right. I don't know what I think about Michael Moore myself but it, it's irrelevant it doesn't matter sure. this is about camaraderizing uh, if that's yeah. even a word and yeah. coming together and pulling together about an issue that's just fat. Right. And so it's cool to see somebody like you out and uh, I want to know if there's any way of us supporting what you do or is it... Yeah, I mean, you know, just um, krcl.org, Radioactive is a talk show that we do every weeknight from 6 to 7 p.m., 90.9 FM. And, which, you know, it's, very, it's a very progressive talk show, very issue-based. We're, like, we're talking about environmental justice, labor justice, feminist issues, LGBT issues. And we're working to create a country that is inclusive and accepting of all kinds of people. Even ghost, even ghost hunters? <laughs> even ghost hunters. Even ghost hunters. Very cool. So, yeah, so everyone, so I always want to say, you know, again, when the progressive grassroots right gets together with, or, or the, I'm sorry, the progressive, uh, the progressive grassroots left gets together with the, the grassroots right, and we see what we have in common, and uh, we recognize that the issues are really top versus bottom, not left versus right. When we figure that out as a nation, Amen. we're going to see some huge changes happening I, here. I, so. I couldn't agree more, man. I, I love it. I love the, the concept and the, the thinking because I, it, it really is about yep. finding common ground. Yep. You know, we're a nation that we, we call ourselves a republic. Right. <laughs> but we're so far from that right now. Right. It, 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 we just need, it's about time to, you know, they call this a revolution. And, Da, 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 da. I'm pretty moderate when it comes sure. to fighting and sure. trying to cause a, cause problems, but at the same time, I think people do need to come out of the comfort zone yeah. and look at the facts, become aware of the issues, and then, then they can actually um, make some educated decisions as to how they want to how they want to participate and, and support the cause. Take the time if you're on the right wing end of the spectrum or the left wing, take the time to really try to. Um, understand the other people's point of view, read their literature, you know, try to engage in thoughtful conversations, thoughtful debates that aren't character attacks, but actually, you know, really mutually trying to, to figure each other out in a respectful way. Yep. That's, what, that's what the future has to be. So everyone keeps saying, let's take our country back. The left's saying that, the right's saying that. I say this all move our country forward. Together. Together. That, that's where it's got to go. So. Exactly. All right, man. Thanks all right, so thank much you so for your much. time. All right. Good luck with the ghost hunting. Thanks. Maybe you'll come on. Yes, I would love it. All right. All right. All right. Take care, guys. All right. Take care. This is Tally, a very, very good friend of mine. Met up with her here. T talk to us, Tally. Well, Christian, I am watching today to represent the 99% who couldn't be here. The 99% who are at work. The 99% who are lulled into a complacency and an ignorance of the destruction of our republic. Our, our democracy is failing, and it's corporate greed, it's lack of awareness, it's lack of accountability, and corruption at every level. Yep. And so I'm here to give a voice to the middle class that is quickly and rapidly shrinking away. Well, do you, do you think that... Uh... Do you think that it's kind of that ignorance is bliss type thing going on? Yeah, there's, there's a... Uh, Has been for a while. A mass, <laughs> a mass group of public that's been lulled into complacency and ignorance. They don't know the issues. They don't realize how corrupt our system is. They don't know that their politicians don't represent them. The politicians are in the back pocket of the big money. Does it even matter? Greed. Does it even matter what uh, oh, political matters. affiliation you're with, though? No, this is not about politics. This is about people having a voice. This is about representation that's honest, Corruption fair, and integrity. Wall Street. Absolutely. Corruption on every level needs to be cleaned out of our system. It can't be a part of a republic. Well, we're so far from a republic, in my opinion, that <laughs> it's kind of sickening, don't we you? We have think? fallen far, far from what, uh, what our ideals were when we first established this country. Yeah, I think our founding fathers of, of this 
country it would roll over in their graves right now. They would. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think that they're standing with us in spirit. Absolutely. They're saying thank you for waking up and keep the movement alive. We are the 99%. We are the 99%.